hello dear students in our last class we discuss about two problems on exercise 12.1 okay so eradu problem discuss madidivi so in this class we are moving to the next problems on exercise 12.1 and remember these are non verbal problems andre so direct objective function kottirtare and constraints kottirtare using the constraints or condition we need to find maximum or minimum value of the objective function clear okay next slide this is here non verbal problems exercise 12.1 okay next problem nodana this is this is problem number 6 on exercise 12.1 so problem enide namge solve the following linear programming problem graphically okay so minimize z is equal to x plus 2y so this is the objective function z is equal to x plus 2y is the objective function conditions en kottidare what are the constraints subject to the constraints first constraint here 2x plus y greater than equal to 3 okay and second one x plus 2y greater than equal to 6 okay we have next constraints here x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 they are non negative constants artha idallo they are the non negative constants idara the graphical method yav tara solve madodu so last class already discuss madidivi first we need to find here feasible region using the given constants so feasible region bandha game madbeku next we have to find the corner points of the feasible region then find the value of the objective function at corner points so once you open the wall is so take the largest value and least value or smallest value suppose the bounded region is that the feasible region is bounded then the largest value become maximum and the least value become minimum value so when the region is unbounded we have another cases okay so now by first write the problem the problem is work man z is equal to x plus 2 this is the objective function okay constants enidre namge first here 2x plus y greater than or equal to 3 and a second one x plus 2y greater than or equal to 6 okay so neglect x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 adana graph draw madbekare explain madtini okay blanks place please okay so then how to solve this equation inequalities first em madtira the equations involved in the above inequalities okay above inequalities equalities or what are the equations here first study inequality remove madadaga enagutte namge 2x plus y is equal to 3 baruthu clear 2x plus y is equal to 3 and second only x plus 2y is equal to 6 x plus 2y is equal to 6 so they are linear equation thing but they represent straight line so next time find out what we go we need to find point of intersection of these line with x and y axis so how to find for x axis just substitute y is equal to 0 so how to find for y axis just substitute x is equal to 0 we get the value of y okay so that point that is 0 comma the value of y represent the point on y axis okay so now put x is equal to 0 in this equation so x is equal to 0 means here 2 into 0 plus y is equal to 3 agutte so 2 into 0 nothing but 0 plus y is equal to 3 so y is equal to enai thamge 3 clear y is equal to 3 so corresponding point here 0 3 aitalva this is 0 and this will be 3 0 comma 3 and again put this is the point on which axis y axis next we need to find the point on x axis en martira put y is equal to 0 equation reduce agutte 2 into x plus 0 is equal to 3 so 2 into x is 2x plus 0 is 2x is equal to 3 what is x is equal to here 3 divided by 2 clear x is equal to 3 divided by 2 what is the corresponding point here 3 by 2 comma 0 clear 3 by 2 comma 0 similarly follow for second equation put x is equal to 0 so what we have found here 0 plus 2y is equal to 6 agutte clear 0 plus 2y is equal to 6 so avagena agutappa 0 plus 2y is 2y so what is y then i will write here 
2y is equal to 6. What is y then? y is equal to 6 divided by 2. What is the point? 3. So y is equal to 3. So what is the point here? 0, 3. Okay, this is the point on y-axis. Okay. So now put y is equal to, is equal to 0. Sorry. Put y is equal to 0. We get the point on y-axis. Okay. So y is equal to 0. Sorry. Put y is equal to 0. We get the point on x-axis. This equation is here. x plus 2 into 0 is equal to 6. Okay. So 2 into 0 is nothing but 0. 0 plus x is here. x. x is equal to 6 side. So what is the corresponding point here? 6 comma 0. Clear? 6 comma 0. Please note it down. Take this pause and note it down. Okay. Next. So next method is there. Here we have to find the solution reason, whether towards origin or away from the origin. So for that purpose, so what we take here? Write the inequality. Okay. So now consider the inequalities. So first inequality is 2x plus y greater than or equal to 3. 2x plus y greater than or equal to 3. And the second one, x plus 2y greater than or equal to 6. So now put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 or x comma y is equal to 0 comma 0. Now put x comma y is equal to 0 comma 0. Now substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to this inequality sir. 2 into 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 3. So 2 into 0 is 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 3. Eight. So 0 plus 0 is 3. 0. And 0 greater than or equal to 3 eighth. So this is nothing but inequality is false because 0 is less than 3. So the condition will be 0 greater than or equal to 3. Eighth. So this is false statement. Okay. This is here false. So once it is false, the solution reason is away from the origin. The solution reason. is away from the origin the solution reason is away from the origin okay next one second one check manana. so put similarly here put x comma y is equal to 0 comma 0 x comma y is equal to 0 comma 0 so again 0 plus 2 into 0 is greater than equal to 6 agatha. So, 0 right as it is 0 plus 2 into 0 again 0 greater than equal to 6. Like what about 0 comma 0 plus 0 here? 0 greater than equal to 6. It means this statement is false. That is 0 is always less than 6. It is 0 is not greater than 6. So, this is your false statement. So, once it is false, the solution reason is away from the origin the solution reason is away from the origin you know the solution reason is away from the origin away from the origin is it clear okay so please take the pause and take the note here so write down all the things so now dear students, we will draw the graph of for the given constants. Okay. So graph already. So I have taken the scale as along x-axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. Along y-axis also 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. Okay. E scale not So first draw the equation of the line 2x plus y is equal to 3. So 2x plus y is equal to 3 means it is the equation of the line. Corresponding points on y axis 0, 3 and on x axis 3 by 2, 0. First point in 0, 3. So 0, 3, this is the point on y axis. This is the point. Clear? Okay. Next one. Second point in 3 by 2, 0. So 3 by 2, nothing but 1.5. Okay. So that will lies in between 1 and 2. So exactly midpoint. So join these two points. So, new scale is more well, drawing straight line or joining the line. So, write the corresponding equation. What is the equation here? 2x plus y is equal to 3. 2x plus y is equal to 3. Then, so what about solution reason? 
look at here for corresponding inequality 2x plus y greater than or equal to 3 when substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 the inequality is false hence the solution reason is away from the origin or opposite to the origin so it is towards origin or origin has been included so it is not origin has been excluded here it is away from the origin opposite or break but the RMR so this RMR represent this reason is solution reason for this inequality okay first one is clear what about the second one second equation okay x plus 2y is equal to 6 corresponding points on y axis here 0 comma 3 and x axis here 6 comma 0 okay so then draw more thing so first here 0 comma 3 obviously you have the same point 0 comma 3 and another point here 6 comma 0 6 comma 0 is in point on x axis so join these two lines these two point if you join these two point you get this line so please use scales so what about corresponding equation write the equation here x plus 2y is equal to 6 okay so what about solution reason so let's substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 for corresponding inequality x plus 2y is the greater than or equal to 6 you will get here the solution reason is away from the origin this is the reason okay so next brother non-negative inequalities here x is greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 then draw more thing so x is greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 this is here y greater than or equal to 0 and x is greater than or equal to 0 this is the right aramar represent x greater than or equal to 0 okay so now find the feasible region so what is the feasible reason the common reason determined by all the constraints all the constraints including non-negative constraints so that reason what we call as a feasible reason you'll know it so for this reason if you take this reason as feasible reason so it satisfies all the condition here x y greater than or equal to 0 is there x greater than or equal to 0 is there and this inequality x plus 2y greater than or equal to 6 and for this one this is also valid here 2x plus y greater than or equal to 3 so this reason become feasible reason just observe the reason this reason is here feasible reason in shaded margin so this reason is here feasible reason okay this complete reason what we obtained here this reason is feasible reason okay so feasible reason one again what we go next we need to find the corner points okay so corner point as a birth only so corner point nothing but the point of intersection of boundary lines okay you know so then point one this is a point a what is the point what is the corresponding point here a of six comma zero okay and next this is the point i will take this is the point as corner point and this point is here b of zero comma three 0 comma 3 so reason is here observe the reason reason is unbounded so reason is unbounded this reason is here feasible reason okay so after opening feasible reason next we to find the corner point corner points one to a of 6 comma 0 and b of 0 comma 3 what is next method next step we need to find the value of the objective function right the value of the objective function at these corner points okay so next so now look at the corner points what are the corner points in them a of 6 comma 0 and b of 0 comma 3 clear a of 6 comma 0 and b of 0 comma 3 next we need to find the value of the objective function next the value of z nothing but objective function at corner points or okay next okay so the corner points here corner points a of 6 comma 0 and b of 0 comma 3 so corresponding value of objective function when I substitute x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 so what we obtain there 6 the value of objective function here 6 and the second 
ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಝೀರೋ ಕಮ್ಮ ತ್ರೀ ಇದೆ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ನೋಡಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಸೊ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಬೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅನ್ಬೌಂಡೆಡ್ ನೋಡಿ ತೇರಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟೂ ಹೇಳಲಿತ್ತು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಬೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಔಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಔಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ದ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಓಪನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಡೆಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಿಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಸೊ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಆರ್ ಜೀರೋ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಗೇನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಕಾರ್ ಮಾತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ದ ಓಪನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಡೆಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಿಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡೋದು ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೆಥೆಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಟ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡಿ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ನು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಪುಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ನಮಗೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಟು ವೈ ಓಕೆ ರೈಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಇಯರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸಹ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ವಿ ಓಪನ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಕಮ್ಮ ತ್ರೀ ಓಕೆ ಸಿಮ್ಲರ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಪುಟ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪುಟ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ಝೀರೋ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ಮ ಝೀರೋ ಆಯಿತು ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ಮ ಝೀರೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನೋಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ರೀಸನ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರಿಸನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಫೋನ್ ಅಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಇಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ಮ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಕಮ್ಮ ಝೀರೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಓಕೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ಝೀರೋ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಯಿತು ಏಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಇಯರ್ ಝೀರೋ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರಿಜನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರಿಜನ್ ಬರೀತೀವಿ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಈಸ್ towards origin okay the solution is an is towards origin so better to follow because dotted and because the inequality is here strict inequality adu draw
so this open up plane has no common point with the feasible region hence the six what do you all about the six is the minimum value of the objective function so please note it down okay next slide please okay so this open off plane has no point in common with the feasible region next therefore the minimum value of the objective function z is 6 at the point at the points of the line joining 6,0 and 0,3 listen here so enna agutha namge when you substitute this at this point x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 value of objective function again 6 bantu again for this point here 0,3 in that case also the value of the objective function is 6 So, if you look point last time, what is it? No. So, each and every point on the line which join these two point, okay, line line, what is it? So, each and every point they represent the optimal value, okay. So, the optimal value, what is it? So, if we take any point on this line, we get the value of z is minimum. That is here six, what is it? So, the solution reason is here. This is the minimum value of z is six at the at all the points. Joining the line between these two point, okay, six comma zero and zero comma three. Therefore, the minimum value of z is six at all the points of the line joining six comma zero and zero comma three. Okay, this is the problem. So let's discuss about the second problem. Number seven in exercise twelve point one. The problem is here. Solve the following linear programming problem graphically. maximize and minimize objective function here z is equal to 5x plus 10y subject to the constraints first constraint here x plus 2y less than equal to 120 x plus y greater than equal to 60 third one x minus 2y greater than equal to 0 clear so here we have to find both maximum as well as the minimum value of the objective function subject to the constraints they given three constraints and two non negative constraints x comma y greater than equal to 0 nothing but x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 they given the three constraints only so previous problems will observe madadaga we get only two constraints x is 12.1 only okay here we have the three constraints using these three constraints we need to find maximum as well as the minimum value of the Objective function z is equal to 5x plus 10y. Okay, first we'll write here objective function. Give one. But the objective function z is equal to 5x plus 10y. 5x plus 10y. So what are the corresponding constants? First constants here x plus 2y less than equal to 120. Second one x plus y. Greater than equal to 60, and a third one, x minus 2y. Greater than or equal to zero. X minus 2y greater than equal to zero, and x comma y greater than equal to zero. So please give the blank space. Okay. So how to solve these inequalities? We have the general method. So first you have to write the equation involved in the given inequalities. We do first one. Every equation solve marthi from these two inequalities. Then I will go with the third one. Okay. First, the equations involved in above inequalities. above in equalities or first equation nodi enagutte x plus 2y is equal to 120 second one x plus y is equal to 60 and a third one x minus 2y is equal to 0 सिंबल सेपरेट करना है कलम बोल करना। ना। और ये फर्स्ट केस सब्स्टिट्यूट एक्स इज़ इक्वल टू जीरो। वी गेट द पॉइंट ऑन 
y axis for this line so put x is equal to 0 this line become 0 plus 2 into y is equal to 120 so this become here 2y is equal to 120 this is nothing but y is equal to 60 here y is equal to 60 2 1s are 2 60s are get cancelled what is the corresponding point here 0 comma 60 what is 0 comma 60 okay so then put y is equal to 0 so put y is equal to 0 when I substitute y is equal to 0 so this equation reduces x plus 2 into 0 is equal to 120 2 into 0 nothing but again 0 0 plus x here Z, x plus 0 is equal to 120 this become x is equal to 120 what is the corresponding point here 120 comma 0 okay x is equal to 120 and y is equal to here 0 similarly solve for second equation so put x is equal to 0 put x is equal to 0 this become 0 plus y is equal to 60 so y is nothing but here 60 a corresponding point here 0 comma 60 similarly put y is equal to 0 equation reduces as x plus 0 is equal to 60 x is equal to 60 what is the corresponding point here 60 comma 0 60 comma 0 okay third one is observed mode what is the equation here x minus 2 y is equal to 0 I will simplify this as x is equal to 2 and the work take minus 2 to right hand side so now rearrange re this as 2y is equal to x okay then y become x divided by 2 y become x divided by 2 just observe the equation y is equal to x divided by 2 this is a general formula like y is equal to mx y is equal to mx so this is the equation of the line passing through origin passing through origin with the slope m okay so here y is equal to x divided by 2 this is also line passing through origin with the slope what is the slope here 1 divided by 2 so passing through origin means here already one point what is the point here 0 comma 0 then how to find another point how to find another point here? So very simple either take any value of this one I will take here. But x is equal to 120. If you take x is equal to 120, you get the value of y. So either you have to take here x is equal to 60. You will get here y is equal to 30. So in any point, better take here 120 or x is equal to 60. You will get the another point. So to draw the line, we require two points here. So one point for this line 0, 0. Clear? Because the line is passing through origin. So what about another point? substitute any of these x values either x is equal to 120 or x is equal to 60 okay so now put x is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 divided by 2 that become 0 point in either problem 0 comma 0 that is origin right okay what is second point so better for better purpose i'll take here x is equal to 60 put x is equal to 60 so because to draw the line we required minimum two points one point is here origin 0 comma 0 second point to either you have to take here 120 or x is equal to 60 we get in the corresponding value of y so again i told you y is equal to 60 divided by 2 agate. that become 30 okay 3 2 1s are 2 3 is it cancels that is 30 agate. so therefore x value in agate primarily 60 corresponding value of y is here 30 so you obtained here two points here and here but the next method we need to find solution reason whether it is towards origin or away from the origin for that purpose consider all the inequalities what is the first one x plus 2y less than equal to 120 x now in another inequality consider now consider x plus 2y less than equal to 120 x plus 2 y less than equal to 120 means simultaneous substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 x comma y is equal to 0 comma 0 this inequality is reduced as 0 plus 2 into 0 
less than equal to 120 0 plus 2 into 0 is 0 less than or equal to 120 this is nothing but 0 less than equal to 120 this inequality is here true because the value of 0 is that is 0 is always less than 120 0 is always less than 120 okay so now so 0 is less than 120 means here this inequality is here true this inequality is here true and solution reason is towards towards origin the solution reason is towards origin okay first as clear come to second one second inequality consider Marthi. what is second inequality here x plus y greater than or equal to 60 x plus y greater than or equal to 60 please observe here put x comma y is equal to 0 comma 0 it means here substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so this becomes 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 60 0 plus is 0 is 0 greater than or equal to 60 this observe here the terms statement in it 0 greater than 60 it means here this statement is false because 0 is always less than 60 right okay so this statement is false hence solution reason is away from the origin okay away from the origin away from the origin clear okay so third one is very important here look at this one x minus 2y greater than or equal to 0 and x minus 2y greater than or equal to 0 x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 0 means substitute that is a 120 comma 0 you can take any value here 0 comma 60 are the goal 60 comma 30 are the goal so better to take here the point on either x axis or y axis take the point on either x axis or y axis substitute in this inequality then we can find whether the solution reason is towards the x axis or towards y axis towards x axis or towards y axis okay you'll know so i'll write this as x greater than or equal to 2y add 2y on both sides add 2y on both sides next time Martira. now take the point on x axis or y axis from previous problems see the points so better take a 60 comma 0 put x comma y is equal to 0 comma 60 please observe here this is very important when you substitute these values 7 30. 0 greater than or equal to 2 into 60 0 greater than or equal to 2 into 60 okay so this is the point on which axis here y axis so when you substitute the point on y axis this inequality become 0 greater than or equal to 128 so when you substitute this point on the inequality inequality and 0 greater than or equal to 120 this means it is a false statement it is a false statement so once this is the false statement the solution reason of this inequality is away from this point clear away from this point it means here it is away from y axis nothing but it is towards x axis clear towards x axis i repeat again okay. x minus 2y greater than or equal to 0 so either take the point on x axis or y axis if you take point on x axis it is general form here x comma 0 if you take the point on y axis the general form here y comma 0 so none in the point so 0 comma 60 the point on y axis okay if you take the point on y axis then substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 60 0 greater than or equal to 2 into 60 that is nothing but 120 0 greater than or equal to 120 this means this inequality is here false this statement is here false so hence 
the solution reason of inequality x minus 2y is greater than equal to 0 it is away from this point or you can say another word here this point is not included in the solution reason of x minus 2y greater than equal to 0 it means here this point has been excluded so just opposite to the point so this is here point on y axis this inequality falls means here the solution reason is towards x axis clear the solution reason is towards x axis therefore the solution reason is towards x axis the solution is in is towards x axis so this is very important so please make a note so how to solve the inequality x minus 2y greater than equal to 0 clear x minus 2y greater than equal to 0 in a general form x plus by greater than equal to 0 or less than equal to 0 so obviously x, x plus by greater than equal to 0 or x plus by is equal to 0 that represent the line passing through origin okay so passing through origin means here the solution reason is now origin make a out more so either we have to check whether the solution reason is towards y axis or towards x axis this is obtained by substitute the point on x axis okay substitute the point on x axis suppose the inequality is to the solution reason is towards x axis if you substitute the point on y axis the inequality is here true the solution reason is towards y axis suppose i will substitute the point on x axis the inequality is here false then solution reason is away from the x axis so I'll discuss about this case one equation to one thing y greater than equal to x y greater than equal to x so how to draw the solution reason for this inequality you check martin only so obviously the equation involving this inequality here y is equal to x agatha. so y is equal to x nothing but the line passing through horizon which is making an angle 45 degree with positive direction of x axis and it is symmetric in first and third quadrant e line draw more than the line passing through horizon here we have the point 1 2 3 4 and here 1 2 3 and 4 when x is equal to 1 y is also what because y is equal to x when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 3 and y x is equal to 4 and y is also 4 okay so e equation in solo model though in equal to the solution is in the name y greater than equal to x is so point on thing so the point on x axis so like this point here 1 comma 0 substitute in the inequality y greater than equal to x substitute this inequality what is the value of y here this is nothing but x comma y the value of y is here 0 greater than or equal to what is x value 1 x value is here 1 so this inequality is here false because this inequality is false because 0 is less than 1 not greater than 1 or equal to 1 so this inequality is here false this statement is here false Hence, this point is not included in the solution reason of this inequality. Y greater than or equal to 0 either x is L1. This inequality does not have the point 1 comma 0. 1 comma 0 is not in the solution reason means here. The solution reason for this inequality is here away from this point. Away from this point means here just opposite to the point. Either or This has been clear suppose for the same inequality i'll take another one here y less than equal to x to one thing y less than or equal to x in a substitute for this one y less than or equal to x for the same point 1 comma 0 0 less than or equal to 1 this will be true true means here this point is included in the solution reason clear this point is included in the solution reason this solution reason is towards y axis and for the y greater than equal to x for next one y less than equal to x for y less than equal to x become below the horizon this is the y less than equal to x 
this has been clear okay this is the case for x minus 2y greater than or equal to x either you have to take the point on x axis or y axis if you take the point on x axis i repeat again if you take the point on x axis this inequality is true means here the solution region is towards x axis if you take the point on y axis the solution region is true then the the solution if inequality is true then solution region is towards y axis this is the case for when the line is passing through horizon so now you can draw the graph of for this inequalities now dear students draw the graph for this inequalities so idu namge artha idu anukondidini so sölpa carefully observe madidina x minus 2y greater than equal to 0 so yav tar substitute madodu so either take the point on x axis or y axis okay look at the for first equation x plus 2y is equal to 120 corresponding point of intersection on y axis here 0 comma 60 and another point here on x axis 120 comma 0 0 comma 60 here and 120 comma 0 here okay so join these two point we will do point and join more thing so better to use scale is draw more with the scale is modi corresponding equation is open again x plus 2y is equal to 120 okay next draw the solution reason when I substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 in this inequality x plus 2y less than equal to 0 this become true this statement become true hence solution reason is towards horizon towards horizon okay draw model arama towards horizon towards horizon draw model come to the second one second equation is that x plus y is equal to 60 x plus y is equal to 60 corresponding point on y axis point of intersection here 0 comma 60 and x axis here 60 comma 0 again 0 comma 60 this is the point another point here 60 comma 0 clear okay so join these two point you will do point and join martin you open this line okay write the equation x plus y is equal to 60 corresponding inequality in the absorb model second one x plus y greater than equal to 60 when you substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 that inequality is false it means the solution reason is not included origin or else the solution reason is away from the origin away from the origin means here opposite to the origin ke aramak draw model so this represent solution reason for this inequality third one third one is absorb model x minus 2 y is equal to 0 corresponding point here obviously it is 0 comma 0 origin agutthalwa first point in them again for this equation origin because the line is passing through origin and the second point 60 comma 30 first point noting here was 0 comma 0 second point here 0 comma 60 comma 30 0, 60 is there and this is here 30 now join these two points we join these two point that the corresponding equation x minus 2y is equal to 0 x minus 2y is equal to 0 we will write it so here x minus 2y is equal to 0 x minus 2 y is equal to 0 okay so when I substitute the point on x axis substitute the point on y axis only the 0 comma 60 this inequality is here false hence the solution of this reason not included the points on y axis it means here it includes the point on x axis or you can say another word here the solution reason for this inequality x minus 2 y greater than equal to 0 is towards x axis clear towards x axis either arrow mark okay. now determine the common reason that represent the feasible region what is the what is the common reason here 
ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇದು ಫಿ ಇದು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವೈ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇದೆ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡ್ರಾ ದರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ಇಯರ್ ನಾನ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಅದನ್ನು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಈ ರೀಸನ್ ಏನು ಬರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಡೆಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ಬೈ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ನಾನ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಕನ್ಸನ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಯಾವುದಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಶೇಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ this reason what we obtained here shaded reason is called feasible reason feasible reason ban mele next thing find out madbeku corner point of the feasible reason corner points ella mark madkontini so illa point ide this one corner point here we have another corner point here we have another corner point and this one another corner point so total we get here four corner point for this point a label as a see a of n agada point here 120 comma 0 point in the point namge 120 comma 0 so point b observe madili here we need to find this point this is nothing but the point of intersection of the line x minus 2y is equal to 0 and another line here x plus 2y is equal to 120 x plus 2y is equal to 120 this is the point of intersection of these two line similarly we have the point c so point c is la this is also we need to find the point c this is nothing but the point of intersection of the line x plus y is equal to 60 and x minus 2 y is equal to 0 clear x minus 2 y is equal to 0 and another point we have to take this the point d and consider more corresponding point in the point is 60 comma 0 so therefore the reason a b c d that represent feasible region for this constraints okay and corresponding corner point to now we find the point e, b and c first of point b for not martin So point B and I get to know it. To find the point B, so we have to solve the equations x minus 2y is equal to 0 and x plus 2y is equal to 120. This point here, x, mi x minus 2y is equal to 0, another one, x plus 2y is equal to 120. Okay, so now x is equal to 120, sorry, sorry, x is equal to 2y. We can replace 2y by x in this equation. Directly solve more than x plus x is equal to 120. 2x is equal to 120. x become here 60. 2 ones are 260 get cancelled. x is equal to, to value 60 one to. Okay. Then find the value of y. For the same thing here, x is equal to 60 agutte, is equal to 2y. y become 60 divided by 2. That is nothing but 30. So the corresponding point here. 60 comma 30 x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 30 that is point b 60 comma 30 clear similarly to find the point c point c for not more can this is the point of intersection of the line x minus 2 y is equal to 0 and another one here x plus y is equal to 60 for point c x minus 2 y is equal to 0 and uh, x plus y is equal to 60. You cannot hear x is equal to 2y. So 
सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई ना इले रिप्लेस दिस इज नथिंग बट दिस बिकम टू वाई प्लस वाई इज ईक्वल टू सिक्सटी सो टू वाई प्लस वाई इज इयर थ्री वाई इज ईक्वल टू सिक्सटी वाय बिकम इयर सिक्सटी डिवैड बै थ्री दट इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी ओके सो वाई बिकम इयर ट्वेंटी सो वाई इज ईक्वल ट्वेंटी नथिंग बट वाट इज एक्स वाल इयर एक्स इज ईक्वल टू टू इंटू ट्वेंटी बरी बोद्रा सब शुड द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई देर वाट इज एक्स दैन एक्स इज ईक्वल टू फार्टी करेस्पांडिंग पॉइंट इयर फार्टी कम ट्वेंटी फार्टी कम ट्वेंटी दे फॉर द पॉइंट सी बिकम फार्टी कम ट्वेंटी क्लियर फार्टी कम ट्वेंटी इज द पॉइंट सी सी वी ओपन आल द पॉइंट इयर आल द कॉर्नर पॉइंट पॉइंट ए बंद वन ट्वेंटी कम जीरो वी ओपन द पॉइंट बी इयर सिक्सटी कम थर्टी अंड पॉइंट सी ए फार्टी कम ट्वेंटी अंड पॉइंट डी इयर सिक्सटी कम जीरो सो प्लीज नोट इट डाउन रईट आल द थिंग्स नाव सो आफ्टर ओपन इन द कॉर्नर पॉइंट वी नीड टू फंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन अट ईच एंड एवरी कॉर्नर पॉइंट ईच एंड एवरी कॉर्नर पॉइंट ओके Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Okay. What are the corner points here? Next. A of one twenty comma zero, B of sixty comma zero, and C of forty comma twenty, and D of sixty comma zero. Next one. The values of Z nothing but the objective function at corner points are. Next. Okay. What are the corner points here? A of one twenty comma zero. And with the objective function z is equal to 5x plus 10y, corresponding value of objective function here 600. For the point B, 60 comma 30, it means x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 30. The value become 600. When the other point C, 40 comma 20, put x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 20, you will get the value 400. And for the point D, x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 0. If we get the value of objective function 300. So here we, in this problem we need to find both maximum as well as the minimum value of the objective function, right? Maximize or minimize the objective function for the corresponding constants. So this is just observe here. The largest value any the number? We have the two largest values here, 600 and 600. We have one mean smallest value. Just observe the feasible reason. Here the feasible reason is bounded. Okay, the feasible is bounded means the largest value of the objective function become maximum value, and the least value of the or smallest value of the objective function become minimum value. This becomes the minimum value. This to become maximum value. See where the point is? Then I got right. No, the each and every point on the line which joins the point A and B. Which joins the point A and B that represent the optimal value of the objective function that is maximum value. So, now we observe more. This is the point A and this is the point B. So, each and every point on this line gives the maximum value to the objective function. Is it clear? Okay. Next. Next. The minimum value of Z is 300 at the point 60 comma 0, and the maximum value of Z is 600. At all the points on the line segment joining 120 comma 0 and 60 comma 30, so each and every point on this line gives the maximum value to the objective function. Okay, just observe here. Each and every point on the line gives maximum value to the objective function. Okay, this is the problem number seven. Just observe here. This is very important. So when we get the line passing through horizon, in that case, either we have to find the solution reason is towards x-axis or towards y-axis. This is a very important thing. Just observe x minus two y is equal to zero. Let me get line borrowed there. This is a line passing through horizon. So corresponding inequality, I am getting the solution is gives towards x-axis. This is very important. Thank you, everyone.